Okay, so in this exciting technique video, I wanted to talk about a window this sort of size. And first of all, let's just say that up. I'm using two hands in this demonstration. That's how I advise people to use two hands. And um, what this squeegee related technique video is all about, see I'll close up to the bottom there. Um, that's important, because I'll tell you why in a second. That type of window, okay, I did in a uh, minimum maneuver with a bigger squeegee, but I don't have to use a big squeegee. And I don't want people to think that bigger is always better. Uh, and this video that I got forwarded, in fact, no one did forward it. it, I just come across it. I don't look for window cleaning videos. I, people do send me stuff uh, from time to time, but this was, was a recommendation from YouTube. Rarely do I click on a window cleaning related video, especially when it's a technique video because I'm definitely 100% never going to learn anything from these technique related videos. There might be a possibility that I might learn something if they're using the best performing squeegee, but the majority of window cleaners don't use the best performing squeegee. So that automatically makes me know that whatever they're teaching, it just if I do what they do, use the tools, use the techniques, I'm gonna work longer, harder, slower, and get less results. So this guy was talking about using a bigger squeegee to get the windows cleaned. Now I'm I'm fully up for that, but he had many things lacking in his way of working, which I would never allow in my window cleaning. Okay, now I want you to just prove a point. I'm gonna clean this window with a much smaller squeegee. I'm gonna use two hands, because this guy who was teaching how to work faster, make more money, doesn't or wasn't using two hands. So I'm gonna use this thick soap solution. I'm gonna put my 12 inch squeegee in the right place at the right time. I'm gonna make a lot more maneuvers. I am gonna control that solution a little bit better on my washer here, because it's not coming off as quick as it would with a big squeegee. Okay, but I moved the big squeegee much less. But either or, I'm going to work quicker and better than the guy talking about using a bigger squeegee. So this first, um, so the first maneuver I did, it was like this, like a minimum maneuver. You know, I'm the king of minimum maneuvers. I'm the guy who brought it to the table so everybody could think, yes, using a bigger squeegee for a lot of cases makes a lot of sense. But not everybody has the skills and abilities, as we know. So using a smaller squeegee, putting the squeegee in the right place at the right time, number one, using two hands, number two, using the best performing squeegee, number three, and having a nice, thick, saturated, soapy solution that doesn't drip and run, that's stable and you can see it, and it's not thin, um, number four. So you can use a smaller squeegee or you can use a bigger squeegee you're still gonna get the windows cleaned quicker than what this guy was demonstrating. So first of all, he was using a Sorbo squeegee. So if you use a Sorbo squeegee, like any other squeegee in the window cleaning business, automatically, you're gonna be working longer, harder, slower, getting less results. Using one hand, you're automatically gonna be working longer, harder, slower, and getting less results. Using a thin soap solution with not soap added to the washer you're going to be working longer harder slower and getting less results what about slamming out to the side because he wasn't actually closing out to the side he was doing this now this window you don't want to be closing out to the side we don't want to be doing any of that what what benefit is that slamming to the side right this window is not a good window to close out to the side on so if you want to use a big squeegee, put it in the right place at the right time, and make sure you close out on the bottom. Because you're going to eliminate a lot of the issues with closing out to the side of this window. And don't slam out, because if you slam out, you're going to be working longer, harder, slower, and getting less results. So, in a nutshell, bigger squeegees often do let you get more work cleaned, but don't focus on the big squeegees. That was my problem, trying to get this minimum maneuver um, thing out to people um, back in the day when I was talking about it. 
because most people aren't very good at using a squeegee. Uh, they don't have the precision, they don't have the accuracy, they don't have the placement, they don't have the, the right knowledge. So scale back your size, especially if you don't, if you're lacking lots of things, work on tool and technique, because that guy, he's from the w w warrior form, window warrior form. Um, he, he hasn't got any idea of how to work tool and technique. And he said, get the windows clean quick uh, or fast, and then that window's done, move on to the next one. Now, the, the window isn't done because you're using a sorbo and you're using one hand and there's all detailing that will need to be fixed. But, you know, if you listen to a lot of these, especially American part window cleaners, they say, well, you don't need to detail so much or even at all on these commercial type buildings. Well, I think having a high standard in residential and in commercial is just as important. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe with commercial you can be a little bit less um, glamorous with the way that you're working. Right, so the last thing I wanted to tell you, if you, which I've repeated many, many times over the years, um, well, I'm using a flattened out handle. He wasn't using a flattened out handle, but I prefer using a flattened out handle for many reasons. But uh, I'm also going to have a slight pivot because I want to get my turning power much more uh, focused so I can put my tool in the right place at the right time if I'm going to use a small squeegee or if I'm going to use a big squeegee. But because he was using a fixed squeegee or possibly a swivel type switch, this is a pivot, this is not, not a um, swivel, uh, and now it can be uh, a fixed, right? Um, the Sorbo handles are swivel, but they don't swivel unless you have it really loose and it doesn't swivel or pivot in the right place. So your turning ability will be, um, well, it will just be reduced. It's just not like using a uh, stiff handle. Well, now I've got a stiff handle here, not, not a problem, but um, you know, when you're using a smaller squeegee and you want to focus more on your tighter turns for one reason or another, having it pivoting and just changing more uh, on the uh, on the on the turns and having the coverage more vertical you're covering your um, window a little bit more thoroughly because you've got this more vertical stance rather than a, this sort of stance um, you're only vertical in the middle here whereas when you've got the pivot you're, you're more vertical like here so you're just covering more glass with your having a pivot but I don't have a floppy pivot no way that's uh, de deadly uh, deadly I'm dead against having a, a, a free pivot having a fixed like pressurized pivot yeah it works better uh, for me uh, for positioning for my squeegee technique uh, so there's just some of the things that I wanted to mention use two hands he wasn't using two hands use a, actually use a bigger washer he wasn't using a particularly big washer so if you're going to go big, I'd rather go, I'd rather say to people, go bigger with your washer rather than the squeegee. And when you get good at your tooling technique, then focus on a bigger squeegee. But sometimes you don't need a bigger squeegee because you want to concentrate more on collecting all the soaps. So you, if you're using a bigger squeegee, you're taking much more solution off and that's much more clean up. But you know, if it's commercial work, you don't need to clean up, then it doesn't make any odds. But you know, I at least try to clean up um, some of the mess that I've uh, missed, but I like to let the air dry of the solution much as possible. So I do leave it for a while and then I'll come back and fix whatever needs fixing, if there is anything else that does need fixing up. So that's just my take on that sort of topic. There's one or two things that I agree with what he said, but pretty much everything else, he thinks he knows what he's talking about, whereas I, I know what I'm talking about. And that's the difference. You either work like everybody else and listen to what they say, or work completely differently and be a next level window cleaner.